Okay, hey guys, and <coughs> welcome to another episode of Danganron. Well, Danganron by Hope's Academy and Despair. So, so last time we found Togami's a dickhead. And yeah, that's about all we really figured out. Um, everyone is in a meeting now to talk to Kigiri about the PC, I think. Yep, 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 that's exactly where we left off. So I'm not going to talk to Mr. White here, Fury. It's kind of freaking me out. It's gone. No. No. What's gone? I just came to check on it, and I noticed. Alter Ego, the laptop, is no longer here. Well, there goes our only lead. Like, seriously? N no way. <sighs> there went our only hope of finding out anything about this place. Good job, people. We let it get taken. Uh, uh, you're saying she's disappeared? Yep. Don't fuck with me. Where'd you hide my bro? Heh. <laughs> well, your bro's gone. Can you please come out of white hair fury mode? Like, please? Uh, the puppet master's behind this, isn't he? We've been found out. I told Alter Ego to scream if someone he didn't recognize came in here. If it was the puppet master, he would have screamed. Maybe we just missed it? I was in the laundry room next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it scream. But but then, if the puppet master isn't responsible, this mystery is solved. The culprit can only be you. Master Kayotaka Shimaru, you are the criminal who kidnapped her. What? I'm the super duper high school prefect. I am an honor student. I ain't a damn criminal. Well, you look like you could have done it. Because of the bro part. He's got some amazing self-confidence. I'm oh, sorry, you're even more suspicious for accusing me, Mr. 100% body fat. That is low. Ignorant fool! This is not my true form. I have three additional transformations. I believe you. And anyway, I didn't do it. You're the culprit. No way. Questions asked. You're wrong. It was you. Anyway, hurry up and split it and spit it out, dude. One of you two did it, right? No, it's not possible for either of them to have done it. Huh? Eh, why not, dude? I told Ultra Eagle beforehand to scream if either Ishimaru or Yamada enter the dressing room, too. You. What? Well, can't, can't blame. I knew there was a risk. One of them would try to take it, so I planned ahead. However, there was no scream. In other words, neither of them could have done it. Then who did? It's just about grasp. Oh, I've just about grasped the situation. If Pupmaster Ishimaru and Yamada didn't do it, then it must have been someone else. No, duh! <laughs> Myself, the guy, Celeste, Ogami, Ashiana, and Fukawa, one of these six are the culprit. I like how you actually put yourself in it. None of us would have stolen another ego. We have no reason to. <laughs> then how about this possibility? <laughs> There's a traitor among us. Huh? Well, that can't be just, you know, that cannot be the most confusing and shocking thing you've heard all day. <laughs> Seriously. Someone on the Puppet Master's side. In other words, a mole. And that mole took Alter Ego. How about that? In no way. I had always considered it a possibility that we had been infiltrated by the Puppet Master. That he had planted a mole. Someone on his side to keep the game running smoothly. A traitor, the Puppet Master's mole. No, that's not possible. That's unthinkable. It can't be. Can't can I cut your tongue? Had you not noticed or considered that possibility? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Someone, anyone, save her. Please save her. It's a, it's a dude. It's a dude. We've. Oh, this guy's confused. I'm begging you. Begging you. Please return her, and her smiling face to my side. I concur. You just want it because of bro. However many times... Well, how many times does bro have to die before you're satisfied? I'll get down on my knees and kiss your boots if you just safely return my bro to me. I think those two have got the wrong idea, but I understand how they feel. At the very least, it's unlikely they've destroyed Alter Ego at this point. If their goal was to destroy it, they wouldn't have gone through the trouble of taking it. Which is to say the culprit has some other motive. Some other motive. 
None of that matters. Not a damn thing matters right now. I swear on my man's honor, I will get Bro back. I will save her with the power of love. No, you won't. Ding dong, ding dong. Bedtime? I'm guessing. Yeah? No. I have may have attention to ten night times in effect, character I have limits. Good night, sweet dreams. Okay, no special secret message. It's already that late, huh? Unfortunately, we will have to postpone our search until tomorrow. For the time being, let's rest. How can you be nonchalant? nonchalant? It's more efficient to search during the day than drag our tired bodies around, is it not? This isn't an issue of efficiency, it's about feelings. But we increase our chances of being noticed by the puppet master if we move around at night. I agree. We should begin our search tomorrow morning. What do you think, Nagai? I agree with you, Kagiri. If we rush into this and the Puppet Master catches us, we're back at square one. Ishimaru, Yamada, I understand what you're feeling, but it's for the best. Just hold off for the night. <laughs> don't go all crying, Mr. Whitehair Fury. <laughs> and don't you be upset, Kedapa. Okay, very well then. Let's call it a night. Uh -uh. Okay, we'll begin our search for El Tigo first thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> And while we're here, you should all start seriously considering who the mole could be. Well, I don't know who the hell it could be. But, you know. Just, uh. Okay, that glimmer of hope we'd finally managed to take hold of. Ultrigo was suddenly gone, swiped out from under our noses in the blink of an eye. We were given a taste of hope, and then. <coughs> and then had it snatched away, leaving only bitter despair. That's the same way the Puppet Master operates. Then, the one who stole Alter Ego really was the Puppet Master's mole. If that's true, then... No, it's not. It can't be! Without thinking, I let out a cry. The problem isn't that we've been infiltrated by the Puppet Master. No, what's really frightening is that we're back to dis uh, distrusting one another. That's what scares me most. Damn it! I collapsed into my bed in an attempt to rid my mind of the unpleasant thoughts, and I fell into a light sleep. A light sleep. Come on, it's in the theater time! I gotta love this! Jesus, more and more just keeps happening here. Okay, in different cultures, in different places, and at different times, murder is viewed differently. If killing were a sign of abnormality, all the great heroes of olden times would be stark raving mad. Sometimes, unjudging unjudged murderers are that much more to praise than judging murders. I don't think I read that right, because it kind of confused me. You guys can pause it and read it there if you want, because I think I messed up a little bit. Okay, Monokuma. Morning. Let's make today best it can be. Okay, today's the day. We go looking after Alter Ego. All right, to the cafeteria. Oh, I don't have to go there. Okay. Even more pumped than usual, I darted off to the cafeteria. And waiting for me there. Everybody or only a few? Three people. Is this all? What of the others? Doesn't look like they're coming. I'm guessing they already went looking. The only people in the cafeteria were from Ugami, Ashiana, and Kirigiri. Including me, that makes just four? Uh, this is why it's a pain having such flaky friends. Started. We have no choice but to wait for everyone else to arrive. Or just go start looking, make sure they're looking. And so we waited for the rest of the latecomers to arrive, but as long as we waited... Not coming. No. Hey, it's already eight. They're over an hour late. <laughs> why has nobody else come? <laughs> Celeste and Hagakuri have never missed breakfast until now. I'm more concerned about Yamada and Ishimaru. For both of them not to show up when they were chomping at the bit to start looking. Something's happened. What? We let our guard down. We were so focused on Alter Ego that we forgot about Monokuma's incentive. There's no way we ju it just ended there. Monokuma's incentive? What incentive? I forget the incentive. The money? Oh, the 10 billion yen! I forgot all about it! Seriously, what do you think? It's 10 billion yen. 10 billion yen? You're foretelling a uh, frothing of the mouth, ain't ya? Well, I'm not, I mean. Not for money. Not one would. I cut myself off swallowing my words. Because I knew. I knew all too well. You can never, as hard as you may try, completely understand someone else. 
so just about anything could happen. No. We should go looking for them. The ones who didn't show up. Mm. Y yeah, let's go check it out. And we all hurtily left the cafeteria. <coughs> okay, it's probably best if we split up and search. Awagami, you take the dormitory. Check everyone's bedrooms. Um, hold on. Um. Just, never mind. Okay. Nagai, you search the first floor of the school. I'll handle the second. Alright, then I've got the third floor. Don't take any unnecessary risks. If anything happens, call for some immediately. Let's hope nothing does happen. I concur. Very well, let us begin. Everyone shared a look of uncertainty as we dispersed. And I hurriedly off I hurried off to my area, the school's first floor. Alright, let's go looking around. Okay, so I'm gonna check like absolutely everything here. We'll start with one B, go to one A, make our way around. Can I not there? Okay, I bet you not neither of those, so I don't even check that. I'm gonna check the A B room next. And I don't know where to go from there. Uh no. I don't even think there's any clue in there. What the? C come quick, someone! What? That voice, it was Ashianus. I'm pretty sure she was searching the third floor. Oh, my body reacted faster than normal. Okay, I made it to the third floor as fast as I could. And there she was, standing frozen in the hallway. Oh. The guy! What happened, Ashiana? We we've got a problem. When I opened the rec room door, I, I looked inside, and th there. Inside the rec room? I should let the others know. I I'm gonna go find everyone else. You go on ahead, Nagai. Nervous and flustered, Ashiana stumbled down the stairs. What happened in the rec room? Half instinctively, I ran into the rec room. Who's dead? Who's dead? Who's dead? Please don't be someone I like. Please don't be someone I like. I opened the rec room door, and the first thing I saw was... No, she's, she's okay. But she's beat up. Silas, and she was injured. I'd say she's injured. Who was injuring her? There's a mallet there, too. But what happened, Celeste? I overplayed my hand. I was attacked. You were attacked by who? <laughs> by a mysterious madman. Mysterious madman? Everything about the madman was a mystery. I can't help but call him mysterious. Mysterious madman quite aptly described him. I was attacked by the he mysterious madman with the hammer over there. Um... I don't know whether I can trust you or not, Miss Celeste. Thinking you tried to murder someone. What's this? It looks like a wooden mallet, but with an unusual design. There's something written on the head. Justice Hammer 1. I like it. I like it. I was attacked with that hammer. I dodged by the skin of my teeth, but when I did, I fell down. Uh, my lack of daily exercise got the better of me. She was attacked with this hammer. And what's up with this Justice Hammer number one? The guy, Celeste! Okay, I brought Sakura. C Celeste, what on earth happened to you? She was attacked by some sort of madman. A uh, madman? Celeste, tell me more about this madman. Um, it happened this morning. I woke up a little before seven, while well, it was still nighttime. I naively thought it would be okay, since it would soon be seven anyway. And I left my room to take a walk after the school zone's first hour. It, this was my mistake. During my walk, I spotted the madman. His face was covered, and he was as, and he was suspicious at a glance. Because he looked suspicious, I decided to quietly follow him. The madman entered this rec room, and I peered into the crack in the door, but he spotted me, and then he attacked me. Okay, you were attacked? I was I was attacked just after nighttime ended, a little after 7 a.m. So if you were attacked by a little after 7, that would have been... Well, we were in the cafeteria approximately an hour ago. When I was attacked, I lost consciousness. It seems I've been unconscious for almost an hour. Thank goodness it's only been a few bruises. Oh, it's only a few bruises, sorry. Only because I begged for mercy with every fiber of my being. Mercy? I'll do anything. Just please, let me live. I'll kiss your feet. I'll kiss your anything. You discarded your pride. I am impressed. I will adapt any strategy to survive. But more importantly, we should be searching for the madman. I am afraid something bad will happen if you don't hurry. <laughs> Celeste, what do you mean something bad will happen? <laughs> when I peeked into the rec room, there was another person with the madman. It was Yamada. Y Yamada? <laughs> and after the madman attacked me, he dragged Yamada off. He was kidnapped. <laughs> Shouldn't we start looking? And quick? And hey, Celeste, did anything stand out about the madman? Something else stood out. 
Rather than explaining, it'd be quicker to show you. Show us? You remember Yamato's old digital camera? So you... Yes, I secretly photographed the madman. Really? Let me see. Try not to be too surprised, though I expect that'll be quite difficult. After finishing her warning, Celeste showed us the digital camera. Huh? It's a robot. Um... Um, she wasn't lying when she said the Memon had covered his face. Yeah. A uh, robot costume? As I said, a mysterious madman. Yes. Um, so Yamada was dragged off by this weird robot? I took that photo at the time of the attack. In other words, an hour ago. Which is why I said we must hurry before something bad happens. I think I understand. Well, much still remains a mystery. Jesus Christ. Like, Jesus. Okay, in any case, Yamada has been kidnapped by the madman in that picture. Even worse, it happened an hour ago. Crap, we've got to get moving. Celeste, do you know where the madman went? He turned left after leaving the rec room. If he went left, that means he used the stairs to the second floor. So the madman's on the second floor. As I recall, Kirigiri was in charge of searching the second floor. Hey, speaking of, where's Kirigiri? Sorry, I haven't gone to the second floor yet. This could be bad. If the culprit is on the second floor, then they could run into each other. Let's go, Kirigiri's in danger. As soon as I said that, I dashed out of the rec room and down the stairs to the second floor. Oi, bae. What's with all the racket? Oh, ho, 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 what game are we playing today? Does this look like a game? Anyway, have you two seen Kirigiri or Yamada? Nope, nope, ain't seen them. They're on this floor. We just arrived, though. Uh, we heard all the ruckus and came to see what was happening. Together! You're nothing but a stalker. A anyway, come on. Oh, we'd, would you help us look for them? None. Did something happen? <clears throat> we will explain later. Now we're in the battle against the clock. My sure, I'll tag along. Looks like something interesting is brewing. Yamada, Kirigiri, say something if you can hear me. However, her voice just echoed through the empty hall in vain. Mm -hmm. Did you hear something? Hmm. It was faint. Yes. But I believe it came from the library. Yes. Come on, to the library! We all ran from the library. Oh, for the library as quickly as we could. This is nothing but plot now. I like this. We open the library door, and... Is he dead? <laughs> Nobody's bleeding. There Yamada was, visibly injured. Are, are you alright? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness he's alive. I am not well. See, look at this blood. None. How did you get those wounds? I was... felled... by him. By him. Just as Robo. I dubbed him such just moments ago. None. What are you talking about? Oh, there's another mallet on the floor. I'm guessing it's number two. It's a willow mallet, much like the one used to attack Silas in the room, but this one... Just his hammer, too. On top of that, this one's visibly larger than the other one in the rec room. He hit me with that hammer. My head is not as gone. I'm actually surprised you don't look too bad. I am bad. I'm bleeding. Protein works quite well for injuries. Would you like some? I've never <coughs> heard that before. Are you sure it's not just you? Um, okay, he, he is Justice Robo. The one you call Justice Robo, is this him? But what the hell is that ridiculous contraption? This is the one who attacks Celeste and Yamada. Isn't that right, Yamada? Without a doubt, it was him. Justice Robo. Justice Robo? Things have gotten quite strange. I wouldn't have heard of that. Great. Monokuma? Boop boop boo A robot dishing out justice? This sounds like it'll be fun. What are its secret moves? Does it fly? At least tell me you can combine with something. You are insane. What are you here for? Just let's just ignore Monokuma. We need to bring Yamada to the infirmary on the first floor. However you look at it, he would be better off receiving some first aid. I agree. Come on, let's go. I greatly appreciate it. Ah, uh, can we keep looking for Kiri Giri? We'll move to the infirmary so we can treat Yamada's wounds. I'm going to start cleaning your wound, Yamada. How are you feeling? Mm. I'm fine. The bleeding has stopped. I'm feeling a little lightheaded, though. Yamada, it would probably be best if you rested here for the time. Aha, uh -huh. yes. 
do. Very well. Then we shall return our search for the madman so before dismay. we have another victim. As the number of the justice hammers used increases, it also increases in size, which means if there's another attack, it'll be even larger. Hammer 3. There's no way someone wouldn't die if they were hit by a hammer bigger than number 2. <laughs> Yamada, tell me everything you know. Having woken up early this morning, I set a search for Alter Ego. Well, I was on the third in the third floor recreation room, I was suddenly attacked by the madman. <laughs> That was what I witnessed this morning in room 7. After that, I was taken to the library, and there, he hit me on the head like a gong. That was, I'd say, 30 or 40 minutes ago. About 7.30. We were still in the cafeteria then. What was... Uh, that was when me, Ashiana, and Ogami, and also Kirigiri were together. Which means, we've all good alibis. I was in the laundry room. Washing underwear as black as the night sky. How do you know that? I was peeking, obviously. Anyway, Togami and Fukawa were together at that time as well, which means they've also got alibis. The only ones who didn't have an alibi, well, have an alibi for when Celeste and Yamato were attacked, are the two people we haven't seen yet today, Ishimaru and Agakure. By the way, what happened to Kirigiri? I haven't seen her around today. Oh yeah, she was supposed to be searching on the second floor, but I didn't see her there. Then where did she disappear to? I see, so she's gone and disappeared. Mm, what an unusual woman. It seems my suspicions about her were right. Oh, hold on a second! When Celeste and Yamada were attacked, Kiri Gary was with us in the cafeteria, so I'm not talking about the madman. What? No, I'm talking about what we discussed yesterday. The puppet master's mole. So you're saying Kiri Gary's the mole? No, that can't be! And why can't it? She refuses to reveal her title. She doesn't even bat an eye touching a corpse. Oy. Wait, we can discuss this later. Right now, we must track down the madman. Yes. She's right. If we don't hurry, someone else could get hurt. I bet it's also the madman's fault we couldn't find Kirigiri or Ishimaru or Hagakure. R right. We've got to do something about the madman first. Oh. Worry not about myself. After I've rested, I will reconvene. Oh, recon reconvenu. Reconvi. I don't know. With the party. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Do. Very well. Let us go. I'm okay with her around, you know? So, hey, what do you think the madman is dressed up like that for? Um, just one second. Okay. Huh. You're wasting your time. Trying to apply reason to a freak. No, so, what's the plan? Mm -hmm. Split up and get looking? Hmm. Uh, we're up against someone both dangerous and unpredictable. For now, we... Uh, None. what is it? I saw a shadow. There was a shadow moving at the top of the stairs. Really? The second floor. I will not allow you to slip through my fingers this time, monster. Guys, we're gonna end the video a little bit short here today, so please, comment and subscribe, tell me what you think of leaving it at a slight cliffhanger, and hope to see all you guys in the next episode of Danganronpa. See all you guys next time. Take care.